What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com where we go from backyard to backwoods. And guys, I am so pumped because today I'm going to make the ultimate throw and grow food plot video. Why is it the ultimate video you ask? Because behind me here, I have 10 of the best selling and most popular throw and grow food plot products on the market. And I'm gonna do a nice little controlled study, nice little experiment here where I'm going to grow each one of these products in one of these containers for about four weeks or so and see how they come up, what grows, with all things being equal, which one performs the best or what they produce, and I'm super excited about it. So here's how it's gonna work. So I have just some generic topsoil from Home Depot that I'm using. Now I realize everyone has different soil in their areas and you know they always give you instructions to check the pH and do all that stuff. Um, I did check the pH on this and we're looking like right in the middle there, so we should be good. Uh, the manufacturers do recommend that you check the pH level in your soil. I've never used, I never tried it here. I never checked the pH um, at any of the food plots I've done up here in the mountain, and they've all grown up just fine. But the idea of this video is for those guys that get out into those remote locations with maybe just a rake or something, you don't have a lot of tools, you don't have a lot of equipment, and you're just trying to get a little nice throw and grow food plot uh, for you to hunt over. So that's what we're going to do here today. Uh, we're not going to use any lime, any fertilizer. Each one of these manufacturers has their own recommendations as far as what fertilizer to use, how to prep the soil, all that good stuff. We are just doing the basic regular dude throw and grow food plot in the woods, all right? So I'm super pumped about this. This video obviously took a lot of time, effort, and resources. If you guys could hook me up and hit subscribe, I would really appreciate it. All right, so let's check out the products and get through uh, what we're going to do here. All right, so first up, we have the Evolved Harvest Throw and Grow, and this is kind of like your intro, basic, entry-level type stuff. We're just gonna go rake it up and throw it in the ground. I have used this particular product before. Um, you know, it came up pretty good and actually harvested a nice, decent eight-point buck over it. Um, they do not include a seed mixture on the back. So for each one of these, I'm gonna put the seed mixture right up here for you guys to see what's going on. And I know every every <laughs> every food plot video, when they see my first one that I did, everyone just you know talks about how it only has rye grass in it and all that good stuff. So we're gonna grow this, see what comes up, and uh, take it from there. But there's no seed mixture on the back, so that's just something you might wanna be aware of. Um, I like to know what I'm getting when I buy something. So um, you know, if you eat a triple cheeseburger, you wanna know how many calories you're getting, right? You don't wanna think you're only getting 300 calories when it's like 3,000. Or maybe you don't want to know. I don't know. So this is the first one right here. The second one, also from Evolved Harvest, is this Throw and Grow Extreme with radish right there. So it says with radish. Um, again, they give instructions on the back, and they kind of list some of the things on here, some of the uh, species of grasses and clovers and things like that, rape, all that good stuff. Um, it does say ryegrass. But there is no seed mixture on the back of this one either. Next up is the Antler King Honey Hole. Uh, this is annual fall, winter, rape, turnip, plot mix. And it says number one selling hunt plot. Their number one selling hunt plot. Easy to grow. And here is the seed mixture right there for this particular uh, product right here, the Antler King Honey Hole. All right, so that brings us to uh, Imperial Whitetail. Now, these guys are probably one of the more established companies. They have a lot of food plot products. I've used this uh, previously uh, up there in the mountain there I planted. Uh, in the spring and uh, it grew up really nice until my ferns overtook it and choked it out but this is a nice product that worked really well for me uh, i'll put the uh, seed plot mixture right up here for you so you can check that out but i do like the imperial whitetail no plow they have a lot of offerings this is one of their no-till no plow variety which i have used and i like another one from imperial whitetail is this secret spot uh private food plot <laughs> this is a fall and winter attraction and I've used this one as well and it came up really nice for me I have a nice video on that if you want to check that out uh, This stuff came up really well and I like it a lot the seed mixture is going to be right here uh, You got a lot of you know variety of different things on here a nice percentage of different blends and things like that Now this company I think is, is relatively new this domain um, domain company here and I actually got this last year I got this no BS product which you gotta love that name right no BS so they're just letting you know there's no filler there's no crap in here it's just straight up you know what you're purchasing and uh, the seed mixture for this is gonna be right there for you as well 
but um, I actually really like how this came up. I used it to do uh, to supplement an existing food plot I had going on. I didn't do a video on it, uh, but I really liked it. The deer and turkey love this stuff, just so you know. So I'm excited to try this. And guys, they give you these really cool containers. So after you're done with the seed mixture, you could use this to store whatever you want, other seeds, um, nuts, bolts, all kinds of stuff in here. So I really like this domain company. So here's another one that Domain has positioned for their throw and, grow, throw and Grow food plot mix, this hot chick, and a hearty mix of chicory and clover to provide long lasting attraction in the spring, summer, and fall. The seed mixture is gonna be right there for you guys to check that out. And this is um pretty basic. There's chicory, red clover, and white clover, and pretty much, you know, that's about it. So you're getting everything right in here and it just lists it right on there for you. So I do like this. Okay, so that brings us to the Biologic Hotspot. I never used this one before, but I see this around quite a bit. Uh, you might find it at Tractor Supply or whatever. You see this stuff around, maybe Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, I've never used it. Um, scientifically proven wildlife products, germinates in days, ideal for hard to access, access places. And there is no seed mixture um, on the back here. So we're just kind of hoping we get whatever's in here. So that's kind of the deal here. All right, that brings us to big time uh, foundation clover, the clover mix here. And this uh, doesn't say throw and grow on it. It's not no-till or anything like that. But this company, uh, big time, does um, position this as a throw and grow food plot product. Uh, the seed mixture is right here for you to check out. You got all kind of clovers, just all kind of clovers in here. So that's pretty cool. And finally, that brings us to the Buck Brunch from Big Time. And this is a no-till uh, food plot mix. It says it right there on the bag. It's an annual. And the seed mixture is going to be right there for you. Um, so again, this is a nice, you know, no-till throw and grow food plot mix. That I can't wait to check out and see how we do in our test. <clears throat> So that's a quick review of all of the uh, products we're gonna be testing out here in our little mini controlled scientific experiment. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the same amount, cap full of seeds from each product, distribute them in this topsoil. And this topsoil isn't like perfect guys, all right? So it's got like some sticks in it and some stones. Uh, the pH is right in the middle, which is great, but um, it's not like super perfect soil, but it is pretty good. So I'm gonna plant the same amount of seeds in each one just use my hand, kind of act as a rake to kind of, you know, get them into the ground a little bit better. I'm going to monitor this. I'm going to have a camera set up right up there. I'm going to check the daily progress of this stuff. I'm going to come in every week or so and just do an update. Just get a quick video of what's going on, what's growing, and things like that. And, uh, and just so we're aware, guys, this is an experiment. But if there's no rain happening, it is April. There should be rain. Uh, and there's not a ton of sun out there, so it's not like there's full sun all day. But if there's no rain, I am going to water this stuff maybe once or twice a week just to keep this thing moving along so we can see some results hopefully in a few weeks. So let's get this stuff planted and we'll keep the progress and check it out.
We have made it to our 30 days, guys, and we have some really interesting and great results with some of these products. And I didn't have to water this at all. I watered it the first day and I let the rain take over. We had plenty of rain throughout this 30 day period, which was really nice, really helped these plants grow up nice and strong. Before we take a close up look though, I wanna talk for a second about ryegrass. So most everywhere you read online is that deer don't like ryegrass. And it's true, it might be like the last thing on their list, but it just depends on the options they have available to them. If they have soybeans and cornfields and everything else available, they're most likely to go and hit those uh, food plots first, of course. But if you are in a heavily wooded area like I have here, I don't have open fields, I just have a he heavily wooded area, mountainous terrain, rocky soil, and there's really not a lot of options, they might be into some ryegrass. You know, it might be the only thing available and they might hit that for you. So it's just something to keep in mind. Where I do have kind of a problem though, is as a consumer, if I'm buying a product and it says, you know, clover, uh, brassica, radish, whatever, and ryegrass, uh, but you open the bag and it's 90% ryegrass, um, I feel like I'm not really getting what I pay for. So that's just something you guys might wanna keep in mind. That's why in my opinion, these food, these seed mi label mixes are super important. They say what's in them right on the bag there. So just something you might wanna keep in mind uh, as you purchase these items and products. Just know what you're getting, that's all. Just know what we're getting. I'd also like to mention that the trays I'm using here are not that deep, they're a little shallow. So I don't know how that's gonna come into play with some of the deeper rooted uh, plants like chicory or whatever, but I figured only 30 days, it's not gonna have that great of an impact. Um, but I'm not sure, I'm not an agricultural scientist, I'm not a horticulture expert. So if you guys see something here in the seeds or in what's growing up here that I missed, please be sure to you know write it in the comments below just so I can increase my understanding of what's going on here. I would appreciate that. Uh, so I'm not sure how that may have impacted it, and the growth and 30 days in these plants are not mature yet at this level some of them take 60 to 90 days before they're going to fully mature so it's just something else to keep in mind so let's take a look at each product close up here and see what has grown up and what has produced and first we're going to start with the throw and grow so this product here says it's a seed mix blended of carefully selected forage plant varieties it lists ryegrass clovers and forage rape brassica I'd say based on what we've seen here with the seed mix and what's in the tray, we have 90% ryegrass with some brassica mixed in. So as you can see, we have a lot of that thin, wispy ryegrass growing up there with a few brassicas and maybe some clovers growing up there for our throw and grow. Let's take a look now at the throw and grow extreme. And what their packaging says is that it gives your herd the nutrition they're looking for. Well, if your herd's looking for ryegrass, they found it. It lists ryegrass, radish, rape, and medium red clover. Uh, and like I said, this is probably 80% ryegrass just based on what we saw with the seed mixture when I pulled it out of the bag. And they mentioned ryegrass, um, but it is the primary ingredient. Again, we have that thin wispy ryegrass growing up with just a little bit of brassicas and clover. And again, this is where it's important to have that seed mix label so you can see exactly what you're getting on the package. So that brings us next to the honey hole food plot mix. This one says for best results, plant in late summer or early fall, comprised of three varieties of rape and two varieties of turnips. After the first frost, the plants go from bitter to sweet and the deer love them. This honey hole grew up really nicely here in the spring and it says, you know, late summer, early fall planting, but it grew up really nice for me here in the spring. Plants mature at 60 to 90 days. We're only at 30 days here and it's looking great. So this is something I'm definitely gonna be interested in when I plant my late summer, like mid August food plot here coming up shortly. Uh, so that brings us to no plow. Product information says no plow can give you a hardy, fast growing crop of highly nutritious and attractive forage with as little as three to four hours of sunlight a day. If you have a shady spot, this might be what you're looking for. Uh, it includes a specially selected cereal grains, annual clovers, brassica, radish, and lettuce. And just check that out, guys. After 30 days, this no plow is absolutely thriving here. It's looking great. You got a nice variety of uh, seeds in there, producing a lot of really great stuff. So that is looking fantastic. Next up from the same company is Secret Spot. The product information here says Secret Spot's huge attraction power comes from its broad makeup of 11 specially selected forages that reach their most attractive states at different times throughout the season. This product here actually includes a soil pH booster, which is really interesting and again, only needs three to four hours of sunlight. I've used this last year and it's grown up really nicely for me. It continued to produce after the video I shot last year, kept, kept growing. 
Uh, so it's grown up again the same way this year uh, with this test food plot. So I'm really happy with it. Uh, great product as well. So let's check out the no BS product here from Domain. And guys, this says finally a no-till mix with zero fillers that doesn't require heavy equipment and is an absolute deer magnet. It can last up to two years with proper maintenance. Contains oats, clover, forage, rape, radish, and chicory, and is designed to establish quickly and attract deer to those hard to get stand locations in the backwoods. This no BS I've used, again, like I said, I've used this in a supplemental plot last year and it grew up great. I really like the cereal grains, the oats there. Uh, the deer love them, the turkey love them. So I'm going to use this one for sure in my late summer plot. I'm probably gonna plant two or three mini food plots up there in the woods. So I'm definitely gonna use the no BS product because I really do think the deer are gonna like those oats. I'm excited about that. So I'm definitely gonna use that one mid-August or so in my own food plot up there. So I'll do a video on that as well sometime down the road if you guys wanna check that out. Next up, we have the Hot Chick. Now it says, Hot Chick sets itself apart because of its ability to handle the heat in the south and the cold in the north all while providing premium levels of nutritious forage that is highly attractive to your deer. This one we do see, it might be a little bit early after 30 days, we do see that growth there with the chicory and some clover. And I think this one will benefit, you know, over the next 30 days or so and just see how it comes out. So I'm excited to see how this thing continues to grow um, after this 30 day period. Next up is Hotspot and take a look at this one, guys. It says it's formulated to germinate quickly, usually within one week of planting and will remain extremely palatable for approximately 45 days, plant in late summer and early fall. It contains a scientifically selected blend of wheat, deer radish, rye, and rape, designed to be fast germinating, extremely attractive to deer, and incredibly easy to plant. As you can see, that hot spot is crushing it. I mean, it's growing up great. Uh, that wheat coming up is really nice. Again, I like those cereal grains for the deer. I think they're really going to like it up here. Similar to the no BS with the oats there. I think the deer are going to like that wheat. Uh, you got the brassicas coming in. This product does have ryegrass in it, but it is not a very high percentage, as you can see from what's growing here and what we took a look at with the, the seeds as I pulled them out of the bag. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a little bit of ryegrass. Uh, it's not like they put 90% of the ryegrass in there and just said, good luck, you know? So a little bit, not that bad, especially since they did not have the seed mix label on there. But this is one that I'm probably going to use up in my food plot, do another mini food plot up in the woods mid-August or so, and we'll see how that, that comes about in the, uh, in the fall. Next up is this foundation clover. This product information says it will provide the essential protein and minerals bucks need for antler growth and those need for lactation when they need it most to help develop larger and stronger fawns. It contains three varieties of perennial clovers and two annuals. Those perennials could last up to five years. So although it does not say no-till or throw and grow on the bag, this foundation clover did grow up in the same way that these other no-till products did. Real nice coming up, those clovers. I would like to give them some more time. It's only been 30 days, but they're growing up nice. And the fact that they could last up to five years, those, those perennials could last up to five years is definitely something you might want to consider. Uh, moving on, we have the Buck Brunch. The product info for this says it needs three to four hours of filtered sunlight per day. It contains a mix of turnips, white flowering crimson clover, forage rape, forage wheat, and a premier winter hardy annual ryegrass. So this product does contain ryegrass, but it does tell you that right on the bag. It says 49% ryegrass, which I appreciate the transparency. So it's not like it's only ryegrass growing up there. You have some other really good stuff in there that wheat's growing up nice and everything else. So that's another nice product that I like honest and transparent with the amount of ryegrass that's in there, always look for that seed label. So now that we've reached the end of our 30 days with this throw and grow food plot product test here, what I'm gonna do next is have a phase two or part two of this video. I'll do a separate video where I take each of these items and I put them up on the hill behind my house where I have deer come in and feed. And what I'd like to see is how these products continue to grow up and mature over time for a few weeks and if, if the deer come in and actually eat some of this stuff. Now I have no idea if the deer are gonna be spooked by the planter boxes. Maybe they'll come in, maybe they'll eat, maybe they won't. Maybe they'll just trample this stuff and walk on it. I have no idea, but I would like to see how the products continue to grow. And if the deer are gonna eat it up there this time of year, I have no idea, but I think it'd be interesting. I'm also going to do another two or maybe three videos on many food, mini food plots that I'm gonna do up in my woods here with two or three of the products that I really like. I think I'd like to see how they come up and how the deer uh, tackle them in the fall. So if you wanna check those videos out as well, I'd appreciate it. 
You know, when I first started this idea for this video, I told my father-in-law Normster about it. Uh, he said, oh, you're going to make an, a video about watching grass grow. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Uh, my next video is going to be on watching paint dry, right? But seriously, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I, I hope you found it informative um, and educational, and it will help inform your decisions as you purchase some of these throw and grow products. Uh, remember to check those seed mix labels and know what you're getting when you spend your hard earned dollars. And hopefully you guys can have some success and create some opportunities on some big bucks from planting some of these things in the fall. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried any of these and if you like them, I would appreciate it. As always guys, the links to the items we talked about are in the description below. Hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next one.